Based on the work I did in the previous video about burning paper in Unreal Engine, I decided that I wanted to try to figure out a similar effect in Substance Designer, uh, based on uh, some work that Bradford Smith had done and presented at GDC 2017. Uh, I'll be showing you the one on the top. I wasn't quite able to figure out the one on the bottom. It's a little deceptively simple. It looks easy enough, but you'll see that at, um, at the beginning of the age... Oh, let me back up. Um, so the, the concept behind this is that the, the user inputs a height map and an age, so they, they paint age. So it's new here, and as this is just a gradient from 0 to 1 here. Uh, so at the very end, it's as old as it can get, and all of the paint has worn away. Uh, so the idea is the user just supplies a height map and paints age uh, to weather the material. Uh, but as you can see on this one, when it's younger it has some cracks, but as it gets further along in age, it actually smooths out in the valleys. So I'm going to have to keep working on that one. But I've got something close enough for the top one, so let's go over what that one looks like. So as you can see, mine is a little bit less visually sophisticated than Brad's. I made my own height map, and it looks pretty good, but his has a little bit more high frequency noise, and I think he's doing something clever to get the, the details clumping in a certain way, uh, other than just randomly splattering dots everywhere. So I'll have to take a second look at that uh, to get results as good as this. But this is serviceable uh, for the purposes of demonstrating how it works. Currently, this is the material that's being viewed in the viewport, as you can see. And this, excuse me, this uh, Perlin noise here is what's driving the age. Uh, this is what would normally be painted by the user, but I'm just using noise to demonstrate it. But as you can see, the black spots correlate with the young parts, and the white spots correlate with the old parts. This doesn't update fast enough for me to show in real time, but I've taken out this Perlin noise and replaced it with a linear gradient that just goes from 0 to 1. And so I'm going to play an animation for you that shows it decaying using this linear gradient, and then we're going to explain how that works using these nodes up here. And this, up, uh, this I've just cut out all of the extra stuff like the color and the normal map because all of that stuff can just be derived from a height map and the whole mask. So as I mentioned earlier, the only two things you need for this effect are age, which is being represented by this Perlin noise, and a height map. And what I'm, <coughs> excuse me, what I'm doing is uh, blending these two gradients together at 50% opacity just on a copy mode blend. And then I use dynamic gradient to uh, remap the values uh, to get my effect. So I think this would read a little bit better if I actually used my horizontal gradient. Yeah, that's a lot more clear. So, uh, and the way I get the, the gradient for remapping is just starting with a linear gradient. Uh, set it to 90, whoops, 90%. And then I take a transform and I set the width to 200%. Oops, oh, 2000. And that just stretches it out uh, past the bounds. You'll see why in a second. I'm going, uh, I'm going to scale this down just so it calculates faster. Not the same size I did here. Okay. Uh, so the next thing I did was a gradient map. And uh, I think this is at 45 and 55. So what I did was just, uh, whoops, set this to 45 and set this to 55 to clamp those values inwards. 
and then I plug it into uh, the dynamic gradient. But that's already in there, so we're not going to bother with that. Um, and then I use the transform uh, x offset to uh, slide this gradient back and forth. Well, really to slide this gradient back and forth, and you'll see that middle uh, shifts. So the purpose of this is so that we can get a, a different gradient uh, and offset the decay. So this is actually how I made the animation. Uh, but you don't need to animate the X offset for this. Uh, all, all you really need to do is change this uh, age input. So if I took a levels adjustment here and crushed it, you'd see that we get a much different result just by changing the way the age is represented. And then from there, um, I just take a, a histogram scan and basically use it as a way to mask the, the brightest pixels out. And I use that as the opacity mask for a uniform black and the previous height map so that the holes will uh, be sunk in. So just to clarify a few points I made earlier, uh, this here is just a placeholder to demonstrate how it works, but this would be painted a, a painted mask in something like Substance Painter. Uh, so if you paint it differently, uh, your mask will output different results. And uh, one more thing that you might want to keep in mind is that Right now, this is just a linear, because the way I made this uh, gradient, it's just a linear from black to white. So if you want to change the curvature profile of the bumps, um, you can take a levels. There may be a better way to do this, but I'm still relatively new to Substance uh, Designer. But anyway, uh, you can take a levels and just move the middle. so. This will, uh, this will give it a, uh, a, a sharp incline, and this will give it a more rounded incline. And in case it wasn't obvious, the uh, whole map should be used as the opacity for all the blends afterwards, uh, because this should be masking, uh, the black area should be where your cracked paint is, and the white should be whatever material is underneath it.